Thank you very much, Heather. Uh, glad to talk to all of you. I'm really excited about all the things that we have uh, just seen come down the pipe from our partners, uh, from our hardware solutions. And the two main uh, partners that I'll be talking about for this presentation are Stratasys and Creaform. Uh, Stratasys is our partner for everything polymer, 3D printing, and then Creaform is, of course, our partner for 3D scanning. So those are the two main ones I'll be focusing on, but I do also have a couple other uh, fun announcements as well. So without further ado, let's talk about what we got new from Stratasys. So the first thing that we've got here is a PolyJet lineup shakeup. So PolyJet, if you are unfamiliar or just need a refresher, is our technology, which is very similar to an inkjet printer like you would have at home, except instead of jetting standard inks onto a paper, this instead uses uh, photosensitive resins that can be cured and then built layer by layer upwards. So it has a Z axis in addition to your standard X, Y, like you would see with your printer. Not only that, but we can blend like you would for uh, your standard printer, again, to mix and match for different colors on your page. You can mix and match for different colors on your part. Not only that, but you can also mix flexible and rigid as well. So it gives you a huge amount of flexibility uh, for prototyping and things like that, or even some end use functional parts as well, depending of course on your application. So to move into this, the first thing that we've got is a new updated object 30. Now we're on V5. So previously we we're on V3, now we're on V5. We're just gonna skip over four uh, because even numbers are boring. And <laughs> that's just a little joke, sorry. And it's gonna have all the same great benefits of the original uh, uh, Object 30. So it's going to be a much a more affordable option compared to some of the other printers. And it's gonna have a nice small footprint that you can either have on a stand like you see in this picture here, or you can have it on a desktop or something like that. So it doesn't take up too much space. It's not super intrusive. It's a great office printer uh, if you just want to do some small uh, 3D printing, but still have detailed parts. Now, we instead of having Object Studio, we've now upgraded to GrabCAD Print. This is one of the things Stratasys has been pushing this year is to kind of get all their technologies on GrabCAD print, uh, which is just a great improvement in ease of use. It's much more user friendly. I greatly uh, prefer it. And it's also gonna give you that virtual connectivity so you can see uh, what this printer is doing at any given time. Um, if it's printing, if it's stopped, you'll get notifications and you can monitor uh, the queue remotely and things like that. So it's just a, a great software uh, to be able to have, and I'm very happy to see it uh, introduced on uh, this printer. And we've also got a, a new material. So Stratasys is draft gray. Uh, Vero material is a rigid material, just like you know the standard Vero white or clear or black. But the big differentiator here is it's about half the price compared to the other Vero materials. So this means you can, you know, feel free to print more often, earlier, and that's just gonna give you uh, more iterations and hopefully uh, a better design workflow um, as you work on your product. So a very nice update uh, on the Object 30. Now, moving from that small format to a, a few much larger format printers on the J8 series, which include the J826 and J850, 
we now see the lineup split into prime and pro models. So currently there's a J826 prime and then a J850 pro and prime. So the pro models are going to be highly functional. They're going to be great for modeling concept and form and fit and even feel where you're going to be able to do things like mix in flexible materials for over molding or just changing your stiffness and flexibility. But you're not going to have the full color options that you will on the prime. So while I can do your neutral colors, clear, flexible, it won't be able to do full color prints that you can do on the prime models. So the 826 and the 850 prime models still can do that full color uh, printing that people love. But if you don't necessarily need that capability, but you still want a nice uh, form factor to be able to do all those other things uh, like mixing materials for flexibility and over molding all in one print, the Pro is a more affordable option for you. So that's, that's a great uh, update that we can see here. And then these will be uh, replacing the object 350 and 500 printers. So the 350 Connex 3 from object and the object 500 Connex 1 and 3 will be no longer available. Those had some restricted um, material usages compared to these printers. So just an upgrade over those. And these are already popular printers. They're just kind of making a new distinction there, uh, depending on what requirements you need out of your printer. Now, if you want, you know, that same level of detail, you want to be able to blend materials, you want to be able to overmold and things like that, but you need to print huge parts. Uh, we used to have the object 1000. Now we've upgraded to the J4100. And you can either buy this uh, you know, straight up or as an upgrade kit uh, for the Object 1000 as well. So it's going to increase your speed by up to 1.8 times the, the previous speed. So you're gonna be able to get more parts out uh, at a much faster rate. And they've also added more nozzles so that you can print more materials at once. So you can do things that you couldn't previously, like over molding uh, with rubber like materials like our Agilus 30. And speaking of Agilus 30, that itself is one of our improvements that we see on this new generation. So it's now offering some updated and, and upgraded materials like the Agilus family over the previous Tango family. It's a little more dur durable, a little more uh, elastic. Then we've also got the ability to uh, print Vero Ultra Clear versus Vero Clear. So again, just more clarity. And then also Vero Pure White versus Vero White. It's more white. You know what? What else could you want from it? So it's just a bunch of direct upgrades to the previous generation. And you know we think this will be a lot better option for uh, a lot of our customers. So if you need that big format, we now have got an even better option for you. Now, for our, our dental friends, we've got a new J5 Dentajet. So I'm sure you guys remember the J55 being released last year. It's a great format uh, printer and they're starting to you know, branch out on how it's being used besides you know, just that full color Pantone validated um, uh, prototyping, this can also now do uh, things for dental labs, uh, like print biocompatible dental materials for surgical guides or implant models, things like that. So that, you know, your uh, dental labs will have a great new tool with of course, GrabCAD print, 
and also the ability to do full color models if they uh, need to do that as well. So it's a great option with high throughput and it's just a very easy to use uh, form factor that's great for having in the office. So even if you're a really small uh, lab, you know, this is going to be unobtrusive uh, for most people, which is a great, great uh, option. Now we've also seen a, a new material or a new pair of materials really introduced, and these are going to be the Vero Ultra opaque materials. Now there are opaque white and black rigid materials. These are non-flexible, but they are going to be, as the name suggests, more opaque compared to the previous generation. And that's going to give you a better appearance for a lot of different types of geometries, as well as just better representing and use parts like injection molded parts. This will more accurately reproduce that appearance. And you'll especially see that on thin geometries or even, you know, stark contrast like you see on that uh, little car token, there are going to be a lot sharper lines, brighter colors, because we now have that much more opaque color. And so you're not going to see that little bit of haziness and, and fuzziness around um, the edges. Now you're just going to have better performance. Um, for that printing. So again, just direct upgrades compared to last year. And not only that, you're going to see, you know, better color gamut and contrast just for again, better appearance, but you're also going to have just updated color blending algorithms, not even including uh, this black and white opaque. So even your other colors will just be smoother, more uniform. And again, they, heard some feedback and Stratasys addressed that and is now offering uh, these two materials as well as an improved algorithm uh, to fix you know, any issues that their customers see. So they heard feedback and really knocked it out of the park with this. So now a, a brief summary of the lineup. We've got our desktop object 30 V5 for our kind of mid-range. Uh, we've got our J55 and J5 Dentajet. And then for our larger uh, scales, we've got the J8 series. And then for the really big uh, parts, we've got the J4100. So whatever form factor or functionality level you need, we've got a, a polyjet material or polyjet printer that can address that uh, need. So everything's really covered from Stratasys. Now, on the FDM side, this is, of course, that standard weed whacker filament uh, that people kind of think of. We've got a new material. This is something that I'm really excited about, and we've seen a lot of interest for already. But we've got a new ABS CF10 material. So this is an ABS filament now with 10% chopped carbon fiber by weight. So it's going to be a little less carbon fiber by weight compared to our uh, nylon 12 CF, which is about 30%. So this is going to be a little less than that, but that's going to make it, you know, retain that ease of use, that great printability that ABS is known for with all the benefits of ABS, so it's a little more stable than uh, nylon with humidity and things like that. But compared to standard ABS, you're going to get a couple key benefits. So you're going to get a 50% increase in stiffness. So whether or not you just want your part to remain rigid or you just want something a little bit more stable, this is a great option. Plus, it's going to be 15% stronger than standard ABS. So Maybe you want to lightweight a part just a little bit more, you know, take a little bit more material out while retaining your strength and, you know, potentially even increasing the stiffness. This is a, a great option for that as well. And this isn't even something that's, you know, locked behind that 
big box Fortis um, label. This is going to be available on the Stratasys F123 printers. So this is going to be available on your F170, F270, and F370. So it's just available to most people um, that want to use FDM technologies from Stratasys. And you're still going to be having all the same benefits that you know people know and love ABS for, including uh, being able to use soluble support with it. So you can get the most out of printing crazy geometries and things like that with this new uh, increased performance. And don't don't think we wouldn't you know introduce a new FDM machine as well. We now have the F770. Now, if you're familiar with the Stratasys lineup on the small end of our FDM, the most affordable of the F123 series would be the F120, which is basically half of a you know F170 with stripped down materials. And it's a great option for people who don't need, you know, colors and things like that. But then we also have our F900, which is the flagship FDM printer that can do um, everything up to, you know, Ultem and carbon fiber and things like that for the high end, but also has a huge build volume. So it's almost like the F120 and F900 got together and brought the best of those two machines into now the F770. So it's got a massive build volume for printing, you know, whatever you need to print really. It's now actually the longest fully heated chamber on the market at 39.4 inches. And that's even longer than the F900 uh, build volume. And then it's also two feet deep and two feet tall. So you can print a whole huge range of parts on this printer. And because it's fully heated, you're going to have all that reliability. You're not going to worry about your large parts warping and things like that because it's all temperature regulated and you're not going to have differentials where part of the part is cooling down or part of it's staying warm from the bed and things like that. And best part is, you know, it's going to be a big box size and performance without the big box price. So this is going to be a much more affordable option than the F900 or even some of the other force machines like the 450. It's going to be a more affordable option for people who need the larger volume, but don't necessarily need the high performance materials that come with those larger format printers. So like I hinted at before, uh, just like the F120, it's going to be currently limited to ABS black and ASA ivory with, of course, our soluble support. But these are proven and trusted Stratasys materials, and these are you know, the most popular filaments uh, with our FDM that we pe see people use. ABS, of course, is you know, a trusted, durable material it's strong enough for most uses. It's not brittle. It's just a great all around material. And then ASA is just a slightly modified ABS to have UV resistance. So if you're using it for outdoor usage or something like that, that's a great option to remain stable without any sort of degradation or anything like that. And of course, it's GrabCAD print uh, enabled. So you can start a job or monitor it remotely. And then a lot of our big box users uh, like to have Insight, which is uh, before this only available on the F370 and the Fortis machines up to the 900, of course. But if you wanna go in and you know, adjust each feature, each layer, each tool path of your print, you can do that with this machine using our insight software as well so you'll always be able to get exactly what you want out of your parts every time and of course you know we got to mix it up add some new machines as well 
with different technologies compared to you know some of our our older more familiar technologies so we now have the origin one p3 printer and this is a really really cool offering that a lot of us at CATI are, are excited about. So this is going to be using P3 technology, and that's programmable photopolymerization, and it's a new take on the um, on the DLP or digital light processing uh, printing technology, which uses a projector under a vat of of resin and the build tray uh, actually pulls up out of this vat as it's being cured uh, layer by layer. And P3 allows you to control a lot of the printing parameters that, you know, kind of restricted other printers of similar technologies. So we now can print with a bunch of different materials and get better, more reliable results using uh, this technology. If you look at that uh, part in the middle, we've got a bunch of high detail, but you're not only just going to have, you know, the high detail, like you would see with uh, our polyjet parts as well, but we're also going to have the durability and speed that you need to do uh, production throughput. So if you look down at the bottom, we actually have um, some test swabs. Hopefully you didn't have to see one of these uh, in the past year or so, but these are COVID-19 test swabs that were actually printed on this printer. Origin actually beat out a lot of other uh, competition to be able to uh, print these parts, and they were able to print like 800 a day on a single printer with FDA approved materials and you know they were able to fine tune how flexible and durable these materials were so uh, they would be perfect for this application and that's you know that level of flexibility uh, with this machine is you know the main selling point here you're going to get the quality the speed and the performance out of your parts uh, towards the end because we can use a huge range of uh, materials from super tough materials to FST certified flame smoke toxicity uh, certified materials that are self extinguishing for use in you know high temp situations to even you know super flexible elastomers and you can go in between this with different materials or even just standard use materials for prototyping so this is a huge huge opportunity uh, for a lot of folks to get into some really great technology. Now, another production ready machine is the H350 SAF machine. Now, this is a new take on a powder bed technology and it's called SAF or Selective Absorption Fusion. And this is going to use powdered plastics and Basically, it's an upgrade over that previously, you know, really trusted technology, and it's going to give you better uh, consistency on parts, better surface finish. But these parts are still going to be tough and rugged for end use, while also, you know, being able to keep high uh, detail on these parts as well. Not only that, it's got improved nesting uh, density compared to other powder bed technologies so that you're going to be more efficient, get more parts per volume on your prints. And again, that's just going to lead to higher throughput and be able to print more parts for uh, production ready. Now, taking a break from our 3D printing, we're going to go to Creoform. And the first uh, product that I'm going to be introducing isn't actually from Preform per se, it's actually from Peel3D. So Peel3D is an offshoot of Creaform, and it's offering a couple new, much more affordable options for 3D scanning. 
So we've got our peel one, peel two, and peel two S. And then the peel two and peel two S also have the option of being quote unquote CAD enabled. So they're peel two CAD and peel two CAD S, which include a peel reverse engineering software um, that you can use to process your scans. So these are great affordable options with trusted technology uh, developed by CareerForm for reverse engineering. Unfortunately, you can't do inspection with these. They don't quite have that level of uh, accuracy or resolution, but they cover most people's needs for reverse engineering. And I was talking about that Peel uh, reverse engineering software. And if you look on that top bar versus that bottom bar, they're very, very similar. So even with the VX model software that we use for our you know, higher end scanners, you're gonna get very similar uh, performance out of your Peel software, just with a couple reduced uh, functionalities here and there for the, the newer technologies that they've released. So you won't get the pipe center line that you see boxed on the far left. You're not gonna get the sandpaper tool, which is pretty handy, but again, we also just have the smoothing tool so you can get around that. And then you don't have a couple direct uh, surface editing tools like extend boundary or um, just the sculpting tool. The one you know, key difference that you'll probably feel more often is the lack of the transfer to SOLIDWORKS, Solid Edge, or Inventor button. So with VX model, we can, with one click, transfer entities directly to SOLIDWORKS. The only difference you'll have to do is export it to a step file or something like that, and then import it into your project. So it's just a couple clicks, but uh, some people you know, might feel the, the difference there. So if you want VX model, that's also an option to utilize with those peel scanners as well. On the freeform side, we've now had an update to our, our portfolio. So our handy scans, which uh, we updated to the black series uh, a couple of years ago, which used blue lasers. Uh, we actually have now the silver series, which is again, a much more affordable option that is using still trusted technology with our red lasers, but it's going to be a much more affordable option if you, you know, don't necessarily wanna put in the investment for a uh, black series. Now, this is still gonna be, you know, a professional grade scanner. It's gonna be highly accurate. So that 700 is accurate up to 1.2 thousandths of an inch. So you know your measurements are always gonna be within 1.2 thousandths of your part, which is great. Plus it's, you know, trusted technology. Again, this stuff isn't necessarily groundbreaking, but it's a great option that's much more affordable compared to uh, the other options from Creaform. In addition to that, you can use the full uh, VX elements uh, suite with it, including VX scan, VX model, and VX inspect uh, if you need. So uh, if you're interested in any of that, you know, please reach out and we'll, we'll talk to you about, you know, what kind of fits your needs of the best, whether it be a silver series appeal or a larger um, higher end quote unquote free form scanner. Now, I'm almost done. Just a couple more partnerships that uh, CATI is happy to announce. We now have a an agreement with Geomagix. So we could offer Geomagix Design X through Preform with, with our scanners, but now we have a full-fledged relationship with these guys to offer Design X as well as their other solutions um, on their own. And this is really great because these softwares are, you know, industry standard softwares. Um, I'm going to talk about Design X very briefly, just because it's the one I love the most, being, uh, you know, a reverse engineering uh, expert here. And I, I love this, and I use it all the time. It's 
similar to a VX model, but it's got a couple key differences. The main one being it's got a CAD backbone built in so you can utilize your sketch or your scan geometry to inform your sketches and then actually make 3D geometry all within the same window and compare it to your mesh rapidly as opposed to bringing things into a, a CAD software, starting your design, and then you know bring it in later, and you know potentially finding that something might be slightly off. Here you get to see as you go what those differences are, and once you've built it within Geomagic's DesignX, you will actually be able to transfer that parametric model that has a feature tree just like in in SolidWorks. And you can transfer that to SOLIDWORKS or a handful of other uh, softwares, things like Katia, uh, Siemens NX, or you know whatever software you're using. You have a lot of options here, and this is a great tool for reverse engineering if that's something you're doing day in day out, or maybe you just need a little bit of extra power. There are some uh, improved tools compared to uh, our other offerings. Now, DesignX isn't the only option that we have. There's also things like Geomagic's Wrap uh, for complex surfacing and things like that, or ControlX for quality control. So, you know, reach out to your your hardware sales rep, and you know they'll like uh, they'd love to talk to you about you know these offerings and what they can do for you um, compared to some other softwares. Now, last slide here, we've got a new partnership on the metal. 3D printing side. So Stratus is, like I said, is sticking to polymers. This is our new partnership for metal 3D printing going forward. X1 has been around for over 20 years. And so we've got, they've got tons of experience with metal 3D printing. And they've got a couple different technologies depending on you know, what the application requires. And that also allows them to have a whole bunch of different materials as well. So we've got a much larger catalog uh, than before on how many materials we can print. And we will be offering uh, three machines, the Metal Design Lab, which you see on the left, and then our InnoVent Plus and the InnoVent Pro. The InnoVent Plus and Pro are similar technologies, just different form factors, depending on, again, what the application requires. But you're still going to see, you know, great performance out of these printers, and uh, we're excited to move forward with uh, our new partners. And that's all I got for now. If 